in this video, I'm going to show you how I essentially knocked off a Patagonia jumper that I've been eyeing off for ages. Now, I love Patagonia as a brand. I would never copy their designs and reproduce them because that is highly unethical and against everything I stand for. I wanted to take this on as a winter project for myself. I actually bought the fabric back in... March or April when Melbourne was going into lockdown for the first time and I thought oh we're going into winter I'm gonna need like a nice fleecy cozy sweater um, and so I bought all the materials for it then and then I basically got caught up making a million masks and um, haven't had a chance to make it up until now we're in lockdown 2.0 for the so for the second time um, and it's September so we're going into spring and now I have this beautiful warm jumper which turned out really well um, to serve me through spring and summer. <laughs> um, I was so happy with how it turned out that I actually made Tim one as well. So his is in this colorway. So now we have matching non-Patagonia jumpers. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let's get started. So this is the jumper I wanted to make. Um, their style has buttons. I changed mine to a zip, but it's basically a quarter zip sweater in a fleece. Um, theirs is made of recycled polyester, but I could not get that. So this is what I found. Um, I just got it from my local spotlight um, and I used two different types of fleece to get like that contrast look. And then you obviously only need one set of bias binding and one zipper, um, but because I made two, I have two sets. To know how much fabric you're going to need, we're going to develop a pattern. So basically, I did a lot of this work for you, so don't stress out too much. But these are the basics of the jumper. We just need to get the design down as a trade sketch so that we know what pieces we need to get. And once we have that sorted out, then we can get started. In order to develop a pattern that fits you, you're going to need to find a garment of yours that fits you loosely. Um, basically fits how you would like this jumper to fit and then we're going to trace around that to get the outline. Choose a garment that is nice and loose because the fleece doesn't have a lot of stretch you need to be able to get it on and off without pulling apart the seams. In the description I have linked a PDF to this image so that you can print that off and also a list of all the pieces that you will need and the instructions for how to sew this up. I will talk you through it but it will be helpful to have a step-by-step -step list of what we're going to be doing. I used a 25 centimeter zipper so keep that in mind if your zipper is a different length. Once you have all your pattern pieces then you can make an estimation for how much fleece you are going to need and also how much bias binding. Fleece does actually have a grain line, so that means you'll get different amounts of stretch depending on which way you cut it. So make sure that you align your pieces correctly and that you're cutting with the stretch of the fleece going around the body. Here's an overview of all your pattern pieces so you can check that they're all looking correct and that you have all the pieces that you need. Okay, so we'll start with the shoulder seams. You want to sew the shoulder seams together and then overlock them and then you can top stitch them down. And then we're going to sew the outer collar piece to the neck. You can also sew the top of the zipper shield and then flip it inside out and top stitch it so that it looks like this. To cover the bottom part of the zipper, just get a tiny bit of fabric, fold it over and sew it onto the zipper before you sew the zipper to anything else. Now you should have a front piece that looks like this and we can start to put the zipper in. We want to sandwich the zipper in between the front piece and the zipper shield. So it should be front piece, zipper and then shield on top. And then you want to make sure that you tuck that little bit at the top of the zipper in behind, otherwise it will stick out like that. We only need one zipper shield, so for the other side of the zip, simply sew that to the other side of the front. Double check that your zipper is sewn in correctly and then use your bias binding to bind both of those seams so that it's nice and neat. You can also bind the lower edge of the inner collar piece because that's what we're going to attach next. To finish off the neck, take your inner collar piece and lay it right sides together with your outer collar piece and then sew around the three edges, not the edge that's bound but the other three edges. Then you can flip it inside out and ditch stitch along the neck seam to secure everything in place. Now the rest of the jumper is pretty straightforward. You can sew the upper front to the lower fronts, make sure that you overlock and then top stitch and then it's the same for the sleeve head and then finishing the side seam. 
the last thing to do is to bind the hem and also the sleeve hems. So just be careful with that. I found this the trickiest because binding tends to rope if you pull it too much. So just be careful with that. Um, and then your jumper is finished. these jumpers turned out. Um, if you took this uh, project on, I would love to see how you went. You can find me on Instagram at slow living, that's slow with an E, and here of course. Leave a comment if you really enjoyed this, I would love to hear from you. Um, and take care of yourselves and see you next time. Blue steel please. <laughs> Do you want to check your nose hairs? No stingers? Too many hairs. I actually have to see your face, it's fine. <laughs> we look like we're Asian Kathmandu ambassadors. I have to go hiking. Yes. Halasan Mountain. <laughs> Cute. No, Kinabali. Come at us. Oh, your head's cut off. People would pay good money to see that. <laughs> Maybe you should put your foot in the shutter dial. Why don't you give us some dance moves? <laughs> Can you give us a kick? <laughs> Until next time, take care and bye.